Okay, this video is more examples from the chain rule. So here it says find y prime. So find the derivative of this function. If you like to use chain rule, you can use, I mean, you have to use chain rule because you have an inner function inside a square root function. Um, but if you like to use the product rule, you can do that by changing the function into x times x plus 3 to the negative 1 half. Or you can keep it the way it is and just change it to x plus 3 to the 1 half downstairs and use the quotient rule. It's up to you. Either way, you're going to end up with the same answer eventually. Um, but since I need one big fat fraction in the end, I'm going to go ahead and do the quotient rule because the quotient rule will give me one big giant um, fraction. So when I take the derivative of this function, it's going to be low d high, derivative of x is 1, minus high d low. So bring down my 1 half, keep my base the same, decrease my power by 1, and because the base is not just an x, I have to multiply by the derivative of that base. And this will all be over low squared. So when I'm simplifying this, I will end up with the square root of x plus 3 minus um, x over 2. Actually, I end up with, because this square root will be downstairs as well. I end up with x over 2 square root of x plus 3. And downstairs, the square root and a square will undo each other. So I'll just end up with x plus 3. Now if I view this fraction over 1 and this fraction over 1, I do have to multiply every term by the common denominator. So I will have to multiply every term by 2 square root of x plus 3. This will help me to eliminate the complexity of this fraction. So here I'll get 2, and then I'll get square root of x plus 3 squared, which will just leave me with x plus 3. Here the 2's will reduce, the square root of x plus 3's will reduce, and I'll just have the minus x. And at the bottom I'll have 2, but if this is considered to the first power and this is considered to the half power the bases are the same so I can add those powers together and get x to the third to the three halves now if I distribute my two in the numerator and I combine my like terms I will get x plus six over 2 x plus 3 to the 3 halves. For example 6, I do have an inner and an outer function. My inner function is negative x squared. My outer function is e to the x. So what I'm going to do here when I take the derivative is I'm going to take the derivative of an exponential. And the derivative of an exponential is e to the same exponent. But because my exponent was not just an x, like the normal exponential rule, I do have to apply the chain rule and take the derivative of this exponent, which will be negative 2x to the 1. And if I simplify this, I get negative 2x e to the negative x squared. 